I asked you before about um, going to a youth movement, that sort of thing. So oh, yes. Maybe you could talk about that a little bit. You know, I have very vague recollections. I remember being a member of Harponim, but all I remember about that was that we, we would put on blue berets and go, and go to sing in songs or something like that. But really, I, I had no ideological training whatsoever. Anybody who was at the Cheda would just automatically belong to something like that. Did you enjoy that? Like, in, in the same way as pe- other people would b- belong to Boy Scouts. Mm-hmm. And uh, it made absolutely no impression upon me. Mm-hmm. I had no, no interest or even knowledge of Zionism. I had no interest <laughs> in, mm-hmm. in Israel. Mm-hmm. Um, it was only in my later years when, 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 when the army are actually experienced anti-Semitism that are, that are, that are even, uh, concerned, considered Israel and Jewishness or anything like that as, as a relevant factor. Mm-hmm. And at the Up to that time, it, 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 it meant going to shul three times a year. Or, or, or going uh, up, up to my bar mitzvah, going in for the brocha and, and waiting for the services to end. And, and really, it, it's going to the services was just a question of asking, where are they now in this book of 600 pages and when is it going to come to an end? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think 